Hello everyone and welcome back to The Forge. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to forge a rolled rose. It's also known as a Russian rose, a non weld rose. There's a lot of different names it goes by. Basically we're going to be taking this piece of two inch wide eighth of an inch thick steel and we're going to be laying out our petals and then we're going to be laying out our stem. Now you can <laughs> forge this area down right here to form the stem but a lot of it's just un unnecessary work. If you're just making one of these, that's fine. But if you're trying to make multiples of these to sell, it's best to cut yourself out a really good preform. As you can see here, I've already got this sort of marked out. Uh, we're gonna be coming and cutting in here with our metal cutting bandsaw. You could do the same thing with a hacksaw. And then we just wanna come in here and cut what will become the petals for our rows. Now the thing to keep in mind with this is to not cut too deep. You don't want to have too thin of an area down here because these petals are going to become fragile as we work them and they could potentially break off under the stress of being heated up and cooling down of course. We can use a hot cut hardy like this right here to cut these petals in. A lot of you may not have this. If that's the case you can cut right down into here with a hacksaw with no problem and then just hammer the petals out as I'll show you here in a little bit. I'm going to take this over to the metal cutting bandsaw we're going to cut out the part that will become the stem of the rose. We're going to go ahead and cut these lines out for the petals. And then we'll get, get it tossed in the forge and get to work. There's what our preform looks like. So let's get it tossed in the forge and get to heating it up and spreading these petals out. I'll show you how to do that shortly. All right, so what I'm gonna start doing is first of all, I'm gonna knock that corner right there down because it's gonna be the exposed petal on the outside. We don't want it to be real sharp. Then we'll start using the rounding end of my hammer and just spread this out. We'll have to get out of heat because I talk and let it cool off. But we just want to spread that out as much as we can. You can also use the horn of your anvil to spread these out as well if you're working with the smaller stock. Be mindful of the junction point right here between these petals because we don't want to hammer that too thin because that's going to be where all the stress is when we start bending these petals around. That petal right there doesn't look bad.
about this point right here, we have our stem forged out, we have our paddles forged out. I'm going to put this back in the forge and begin texturing these with a cross paint hammer and then we'll be almost ready to start rolling this rose up. Alright, now when you're doing this right here, just remember to not hack right here between these pedals because if you hit right there, it's going to make that super thin, almost guaranteed it'll break off at that point as you begin rolling it up. But you kind of see the look that I'm going for here. Cross paint hammer, straight paint hammer, whichever one you want to use is a real good job. So I'm going to put this back in there and get these other, other pedals done. Alright, we're going to switch our focus back here to the stem and we're going to go ahead and knock it down 90, go ahead and bend it under because the gas forge I'm using doesn't have a large opening so I can't leave it straight down. Now the most important thing to remember here moving forward is to when you roll this rose up, start on the stem side because if you start on this side right here, your stem is going to be on the outside of the rose and also make sure as you roll it your texture is on the outside so it actually shows up right on the, on the pedals. We go to knock this stem down right here. Grab this pedal because that way it puts none of the pressure on this on this junction right here. Because we don't want any unnecessary stressors. Because it's really easy to break this. side of the rows. Alright, we got that pretty tight right there. We'll move over to this leaf. Or to the, we got that pretty tightened up right there. We're going to move over to this next pedal, do the same thing as we did with the first one, and start slowly rolling this up. over here to this hole on my anvil and uh, put the stem up and hammer on the stem and uh, push it push the uh, the bulb of the rose the eye of the rose there down some to bring it up above the rest of this literally just a couple of taps we'll pull all of that up there we go we'll go over to the vise here a minute heat this up start straightening everything around making it look more like a rose make it look, look a little bit more organic
Alrighty, and that's how I forge a single piece rose, a non-weld rose, Russian rose, rolled rose, whatever you want to call it. It's a really fun project. It's a great beginner project. It teaches a lot of different things, hammer control, how to use different parts of your anvil to, to form things. Uh, like I said, with these preform is key. If you're gonna be making a lot of them, uh, start out, save yourself some time. Uh, you can make these pretty much out of anything. I forged them out of 3.8 square bar before just to practice. Uh, I appreciate you for joining us today. If you would, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell to be notified of our newest content. We appreciate you for watching. Hope you have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.